If you want to see CIA agents in action, you should definitely watch our picks for the best CIA movies. In case you didn't see it, I executed him, Ed. You did what you had to do, and if you hadn't, he would be describing you down to your eyebrows to them right now. Number 10. Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, directed by George Clooney. Defined by some of the most unpredictable twists of spy cinema and a leading performance that can only be called a true stylish classic, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind follows a famous game show moderator living a successful career. But what no one would ever think, he is secretly a top-tier assassin with a track record of 33 people. And it's about to get higher. What kind of work? What government agency? Problem-solving work. The Office of Diplomatic Security. <laughs> so what? I never heard of it. Is that the fucking CIA or something? Number nine. Where's the Pentagon? Oh, that's the Pentagon. That's the Pentagon. I thought I'd show you the second best view in the district. Charlie Wilson's War is a biographical comedy drama film directed by Mike Nichols, informing and entertaining audiences alike with powerful politics and even more impressive acting. Charlie Wilson's War retells the end of the Cold War with a quartet of unlikely teammates coming from different organizations. Trying to finance Afghan freedom fighters who will face the Soviet troops, this operation will take more than expected. I don't know what you're talking about, and if I did, it'd be classified, and I'd wonder where you got your information on the subcommittee. Oh, what do you care, hon? It's a little matter of national security. And... Number eight. You wanna go and get a hot dog? How do you expect me to operate, huh, Ed? What are you keeping all the cards in your chest? What about an ice cream? All honey wanted was patience, Ed. Body of Lies is a spy thriller film directed by Ridley Scott. Thrilling to the last frame and filled with masters of storytelling and acting, Body of Lies sees two CIA agents plot a bold yet stupidly dangerous scheme to find an internationally wanted terrorist. Creating a fake terror organization as a trap, the two men have no idea what they have gotten themselves into, making them prey in a worldwide game of chess. We're going north now, do you hear me? We're going north to the Balad safe house. No, 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 buddy. No, you're not. You're blown. It's chatter. Well, if I'm blown, Ed, that means you should have sent a team there the minute Nazar got shot. But you didn't send a team, did you? Number seven. What went wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Actually, one thing. Don't ever question me again. Spy Game is an action thriller film directed by Tony Scott, delivering an impactful and nevertheless exciting buddy movie experience. Spy Game will surprise you with unexpected outcomes and smart action. We follow an old and close to retirement CIA operative who learns that his prodigy has been captured by the enemy. But instead of leaving him to his fate, he plans a once in a lifetime rescue mission. Oh, Jesus Christ, you don't, you don't just trade these people like the baseball cards. It's not a fucking game. Oh, yes, it is. It's exactly what it is. And it's no kid's game either. This is a whole other game. And it's serious and it's dangerous. And it's not one you want to lose. Number six. American Made, directed by Doug Lehman. It follows former TWA pilot Barry Seal, who flew missions for the CIA and became a drug smuggler for the Medellin cartel in the 1980s. Ordered by the CIA to provide reconnaissance on the rising threat of drugs, he soon finds himself in charge of one of the biggest and most dangerous operations in the U.S. history. You gotta swear you can't ever tell anybody this, Lucy. All right? I am working for the CIA. Number five. The Man from UNCLE, directed by Guy Ritchie, Rivalry and ego are two things quite bad to exist in a post-war world, but are quite indispensable. For two arrogant spies who belong to the deepest enemy section, a U.S. and a Soviet spy in the middle of the Cold War heat, ego is something to put aside when the two have to work together. Would you want to check it? Be my guest. It's, it's your tracker. You're the expert. I'll be on the balcony. Number four. Maybe when the report comes out, people will finally see that. Well, let's worry about getting it right, getting it done. We can worry about changing the world later. The Report is a 2019 drama film written and directed by Scott Z. Burns. Based on actual events, the story follows staffer Daniel J. Jones, who is tasked by his boss, Senator Dianne Feinstein, 
for leading an investigation of the CIA's detention and interrogation program created for the aftermath of 9-11. He finds out the fact that the nation's top intelligence agency destroyed evidence and sabotaged the law, hiding a shocking secret from the American public. They waterboarded him 183 times and then concluded KSM may never be forthcoming or honest. Everything they got from him was either a lie or something they already had. Number three. Three Days of the Condor, directed by Sidney Pollack. Thanks to stunning direction and a stellar cast, this post-Watergate thriller examines paranoia in the U.S. after a horrifying conspiracy. On a seemingly quiet day, a CIA agent returns to his office to find all his crew members murdered. Learning that there are higher forces involved, he finds himself on the run while trying to solve another mystery. Number two. High, high and dry. Who paid for that? CFDC. What's your middle name? What's your middle name? What's your middle name? Leon? Shoot him. He's an American spy. Argo is a 2012 historical drama film directed by Ben Affleck. Argo recounts a secret life and death operation to save six Americans, which took place behind the scenes of the hostage crisis in Iran. The reality of the operation has been unknown to the general public for many years. Knowing that it is only a matter of time before the six are killed, a CIA exfiltration specialist offers a risky plan to get them out of the country. They're going to try to break you, okay, by trying to get you agitated. You have to know your resume back to front. You really believe your little story is going to make a difference when there's a gun to our heads? I think my story is the only thing between you and a gun to your head. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. I don't give a shit whether you did it or not, and neither will anyone else. But I will put such a stranglehold on your gun money, you'll be out in the street throwing rocks. I will fucking destroy you. I will make it my mission in life. I understand if you want to tie your shoe. It's a dirty business, Edward. I've been part of it for far too long. You can't trust your best friends. Your five senses, only the little voice inside you. Most civilians don't even hear. Listen to that. Trust yourself. Number one. Do you have a Jason Bourne in custody? Yes, I do. Listen, he's an agency priority target. The Bourne Trilogy is an action thriller film series directed by Paul Greengrass and Doug Lehman. Known for its intense action sequences and intricate plot twists, the Jason Bourne trilogy follows a former CIA operative suffering from amnesia, who embarks on a quest to uncover his identity while being pursued by his former employers. Now using his incredible abilities to fight back, the trilogy delves deep into the world of espionage and conspiracies, making it a benchmark in the spy thriller genre. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments! If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.